Juan Marichal gained immediate fame by pitching a one-hitter in his Major League debut. If anyone doubted the rookie's staying power, Marichal's 243 lifetime wins answered the skeptics. This guy was not a thrower. He was a finesse pitcher from the day he broke in and had a one-hitter against the Phillies. When you watch him when he first comes up, you don't have the sense of history to compare him, and you don't really know how great he is. It's only after he retires and you look back at his accomplishments and you realize how marvelous he was. Nicknamed the Dominican Dandy, Marichal became the preeminent pitcher of the 60s. In 1963, he threw a no-hitter and had his first 20-win season. Five others would follow as the Hall of Famer proved to be the winningest pitcher of the decade. He was like an artist, like a Picasso. He was perfect. He was a great control, great competitor. Marichal, so he's right there with Sandy Crawford and Bob Gibson, the best. Marichal defied comparison when it came to his celebrated leg kick, a trademark he adopted in the minors and which proved to be surprisingly effective. I feel good throwing overhand. I feel good kicking my leg, and I fall in love with the style. Then I read after I came to the major league and I faced Mickey Mantle that he said that it was very hard for him to follow the ball because the first thing he saw was the, was the glove, then the leg, and the last thing he seen was the ball. So that encouraged me to keep doing that, and I, I think it paid off. Juan Marichal, 20-game winner for the last four years, warms up for the National League. Marichal, a perennial all-star, is ready to take on the American League best once again. With one out, he faces Peru, who smashes the ball deep to left. The Lou Brock pulls it down just short of the wall. Tony Oliva, Minnesota's outfielder who won the American League batting title in 1964 and 65, steps into the batter's box. Marischal whips a third strike, past Oliva. In the American League second, Juan Marischal faces Carl Yastrzemski with two outs. And the Boston Star swings and misses on a fastball that breaks away from him. In the American League third, Bill Freehan watches a fastball whiz by for a ball third strike. Our pitching staff begins with Juan Marichal. The high-kicking Marichal has allowed just one run in 18 innings, an ERA of 0.50. Juan Marichal hung up 18 wins for the Giants, and his 3.35 earned run average was the base city's best. It gives you that big leg kick that we'll show you. There's a bounding ball, a second, gets him over there and comes up with another good play. He had to really get something on that one, and he had to wait for the second hop. Well, Peru bounces out, Kessinger to McCovey, one out. Jastrzemski hits a hot ground ball, Helms up with it to McCovey, and the last away playing brilliant in the infield. The two-two pitch. Side arms him and strikes him out. Well, that's it for the American League in the top of the fourth. At the end of three and a half innings, it is still the National League one and the American League nothing. Two strikes on Book Powell. Did he go around? Yes, sir. Shane Crawford. Fine home plate that he did. He started to hold up, but it may have been a strike anyway. So Marshall gives him another screwball just on an outside corner. Let's take a good look at Juan Marshall in slow motion. Sandy? Here you watch Marichal, even with the big kick and a lot of other things he does, he'll pick up that plate and say, rivet it on it over his shoulder. He's got, you know, just great control and great stuff. The two and two pitch to Bill Freehand. He struck him out. That's all for Bill Freehand. And that's all here in the top half of the fifth inning for the American League. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. After four and a half innings of play, it's still the National League one. And the American League, nothing. That power helps Giant Ace Juan Marichal to another shutout victory. Juan's eight no-run pitching job with the league's high in 1969 and enabled him to take over the lead in lifetime career shutouts among active major league pitchers with 45. High kicking Juan Marichal went out in the ninth inning to beat the hard-hitting Braves again. His three victories and no losses this year against Atlanta gives him a career record of 20 wins and 13 losses against them. 
Again, it's Marischal, and again, it's victory. Juan called his effort in this night affair with Atlanta one of the best games he has ever pitched. Marischal continued strong, and here strikes out the great Henry Aaron. In the ninth inning, Marischal retires Orlando Cepeda. Juan's 21 wins put him only nine short of the 200 victory plateau, a pitching mile. His 685 winning percentage is the best among active pitchers. I would say, as far as Marichal is concerned, his pinpoint control and a great body, anyone that racks his body with a wind-up like Marichal has, has to have great strength and strength. Of course, he, he, it's a very deceptive wind-up. And he's got just plus this fellow with great coordination to be able to wind up in this fight, throw that leg at home, and still throw strikes. And that's what makes him a great pitch. Other than the fact that he can throw any type of pitch over the plate for strike, he has them all. Juan Marichal was some kind of pitcher. Let me tell you what it says on his plaque. Juan Antonio Sanchez Marichal. San Francisco National League 1960-1973, Boston American League 1974, Los Angeles National League 1975. High kicking right hander from Dominican Republic, won 243 games and lost only 142 over 16 seasons. Won 20 games six times and no hit Houston in 1963. Led National League in complete games and shutouts twice and an ERA with 2.10 in 1969. He completed 244 games during his career, striking out 2,303 and finishing with a career ERA of 2.89. One and only one, Matty Shaw. Very special thank to the San Francisco Giants, my teammates, and the fans for whom I had the pleasure to play for 13 years. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to join the baseball greats who are enshrined in Baseball Hall of Fame.